Good day, viewers. You are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Cha cha. Breaking news. Why Tinubu can never be Nigerian president? Bola Tinubu's presidential dissociative disorder, Buari Fulanization. I admit that it's always ill advised to use the word never when you prognosticate the outcome of a future event. The vagaries of life can throw a wrench to the works of the most auspicious auguries. I know that, nevertheless, I am prepared to go out on a limb and proclaim that, in spite of his feverishly desperate frenzied backstabbing, machination, Bola Ahmed Tinubu can never be Nigerian president. Here is why. Tunubu isn't electable in any region of Nigeria outside the Southwest. It's not a region. Even in the Southwest, its political capital has suffered inconcoolable diminution over the years, particularly because of the growing perception in the region that it is now a mindless minion of a morally maggoty Machiavellian and no good northern cabal. His callous, injudicious, not to mention misguided and evidence free exculpation of alleged murderers of the daughter of a Fenifere leader, Ruben Fashorati, ranked many people in the region and helped seal the notion that he is now no more than a founding unthinking automation for hostile political forces outside his region. It is entirely possible that Fashorati's daughter wasn't murdered by Fulani headers, but saying so without fame, foolproof evidence, and when raw passion is still inflamed, betrayed his lack of scruples and independence of thought. That is why an increasing number of people in the Southwest now see Tunubu as an unreliable, out of touch, self absorbed power-hungry and treacherous narcissist. Among the electorate in the Southeast and the South-South, he is seen as one of the principal architects in the emergence of the unrelieved disaster that is Buhari's whose regime has taken the humiliation and alienation of the two regions as an article of statecraft. Tunubu also infamously sanctioned the systematic state sponsored and talks executed disenfranchisement of Igbo voters in Lagos in 2019. His wife Remy Tinubu was in fact caught on camera lamenting that the Igbos are untrustworthy. Her exact words were Igbo, we know they trust on her again. Most Igbo and South Tanic minorities will rather be dead than vote for Tunubu. Christians, ethnic minorities in the north, for whom religion identity is an important instrument of political mobilization, deeply distrust even resent Tunubu and his politics. Although northern Nigerian Christians tend to be largely indifferent to Southern, that is Yoruba and Edo, Muslims, the nonetheless not deep seated animals toward Tunubu because of the role he is perceived to have played in propping up the fiendish monster of the pravity that the Buhari regime has become. You would think the Muslim North, particularly the house phone Muslim North, will request Tunubu support for Buhari in 2015 and 2019 by supporting his presidential aspiration in 2023. That is precisely what Tinubu himself 
in his blissful naivety expect? Well, as I pointed out many times before the 2019 election, this is why Tinubu will get the biggest shock of his life. If Tinubu were lucky to clinch the nomination of the APC, as unlikely as this is, he would need to nominate a Christian, preferably a Northern Christian politician to balance his ticket since he is a Muslim or self-identifies as a Muslim from the South. And that's where the problem will start for him. In the North, there is an enduring distrust of the authenticity of the Islam of Yoruba Muslim. There is even a Hausa phrase that escapulates this distrust. Adinin Yabawa. It literally translates as the region that is Islam of the Yoruba, but it means more than that. It is often uttered to suggest that the Islam of Yoruba people is fickle, unauthentic, meretricious, syncretic, and untrustworthy. So, as far as most Northern Muslims are concerned, a Yoruba Muslim Northern Christian ticket is as good as Christian Christian ticket. Well, some Yoruba Muslims have been able to overcome this visceral Northern Muslim perceptual bias against their Muslim. A good example is the late MQ Apiola, and it was because he did more for the cause of Islam than any Nigerian of his time. You can see that of Tinubu who apart from the rampant northern Muslim perception that he isn't a practicing Muslim, even Abiola had to choose a northern Muslim running mate to end the trust of northern Muslim political elites. Nevertheless, if Tunubu chooses a running mate from the Muslim north to compensate for his lack of sufficient Muslim bona fides, he would alienate Igbo southern ethnic minority and northern christian voters the very people who distrust and resent him in the first place contemporary nigeria is way more sensitive to the politics of religious representation than 1990s nigerians was when abiola ran for president the rise of politically tinged pentecostalism in the south has made even the religiously liberal southwest a hotbed for religious particularism even though ethnic solidarity is still a more potent instrument for mobilization in the region than religion but i wager that northern muslim voters would rather vote for a party that fields a northern muslim candidate even if that party is the pdp than vote for Tinubu even if he chooses a northern Muslim running mate. So heads or tails, Tinubu will lose. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, please don't forget your comments concerning this news are very, very important. What do you think concerning the two news? What's your opinion? It has been said, opinion have been given and reasons why Tinubu is not going to win in 2023. What is your opinion? What do you have to say about this? Do you really think Tunubu is going to win? What are his shortcomings? What are his advantages? I don't really know. Do you know? If you know, please don't forget to leave your comment behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.